In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to sign in to an AWS account in just five minutes. Whether you're new to AWS or just need a refresher, I'll guide you through the process step by step to ensure you can access your AWS services smoothly and efficiently. Let's dive in. First, open your preferred web browser. This could be Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or any other browser you regularly use. Enter the URL for the AWS website, which is awsamazon.com. Once the AWS homepage loads, you'll see a wealth of information about their services, but for now, we're going to focus solely on signing in. Next, you need to head to the AWS Management Console. This is the centralized hub where all of AWS's services and features are available to you. On the AWS homepage, you will find a Sign In button, usually located in the top right-hand corner. Click on that, and you'll be directed to the AWS Management Console sign-in page. Now, AWS will ask you to specify the type of user you are. Depending on how your account is set up, you can sign in either as a root user or an IAM user. The root user is the one who created the AWS account and has full access, while an IAM user is a part of the AWS Identity and Access Management System, with permissions granted by the account administrator. Choose the option that fits your role. If you are signing in as an IAM user, you will need to enter your AWS account ID or alias along with your IAM username and password. Your AWS account ID is a unique 12-digit number assigned to your account. If you're unsure what your ID is, it's usually provided by your administrator or can be found in your AWS management settings. Ensure you've entered this information correctly, as any typos will prevent access. Once you've entered the necessary details, hit the Sign In button. This will initiate the login process, and if your credentials are correct, you'll be granted access to the AWS management console. However, there's a slight variation if you're a federated user. A federated user signs in through another identity provider, such as an organizational single sign-on system. If you fall under this category, after clicking Sign In, you'll be redirected to your organization's specific sign-in page where you can complete the process using your company's credentials. And there you have it, the steps to sign into your AWS account efficiently. By following these instructions, you're all set to explore and manage AWS services. If you encounter any issues during the sign-in process, double-checking your credentials and ensuring your browser is up to date can sometimes resolve common access issues. Thanks for watching, and I hope this guide has made your AWS journey a little clearer.